I'm Mary West on the Voice of the Foothills, AM 950 K-High. Right at the top of the ridge where the Roberts Fire came out, sure Tail Creek and hit the ridge right here. As you see, it burned so hot um, because the time of day started and the fact the fuels were so heavy here, it basically sterilized the ground. There's a little vegetation recovering at the base of what we call the basil sprouters, which are the oak trees out here. But basically, the ground in here was sterilized. Um, it'll probably remain like this for a few years to come. There'll be some pioneering plants will get reestablished in here. But basically you're looking at the worst case scenario um, of what a wildfire can do as far as level of destruction. This will be scarred like this probably for generations to come. To the way it was. Yeah, you're never going to get it back the way it was. The best thing you can do is just cut it down, start over, and it'll take 20 years to get the trees 20 feet tall. You never see it as it once was. And more than likely, if you're if you're in your 50s or 60s or maybe your 40s, you'll probably even pass on out of this world. And your children never see it. So the the scar, from our perspective as humans, is permanent and lasting. Nature will recover in time. She always has and always will. And the thing to remember, it's not if your property's going to burn; it's when it's going to burn. It all burns. It's what this country's always done. It always will do. The question is, will it happen this summer to you, or will it happen 10 years from now? No one knows. Uh huh. See how well that bark protects the. What a quarter of an inch. Quarter inch. It's designed to survive low intensity fire. But it's when it gets the high intensity. The ground. What what does this look like to you? This is what, is what property looked like if people do not manage the, the fuels on the property, cut out the brush, cut out that scotch room that's a basic species, and manage it. Because when the fire burns through, it will simply kill all the trees. And what you simply have is just a bunch of dead sticks standing. And so that's what we see right here. What was that phone call? That was a phone call from a fellow battalion chief just informed me we're going to peak staffing effective today, May 2nd. Normally don't go to peak staffing until July 1. And for me it's just very con disconcerting given that in my 34 years with this department I don't ever remember going to peak staffing this early in Northern California. So when I put it in balance with the Roberts Fire, uh, my, my career history and everything, the dryness that we have, fuel conditions basically as dry as typically we have in July 1 right now. You know, what's laying out this summer is just very ominous for me personally. And um, I just hope that, uh, you know, that we can get through this summer, but uh, my gut just tells me more and likely we'll see more fire we know what to do with. I'm Mary West on the Voice of the Foothills, AM 950 K High.